today on Divorce Court. I don't feel like Daryl is fighting for his marriage because if he was, we would not be living apart right now. I cheated when we started young. It was before marriage, but when we get have our disagreement, she likes to bring that back up. Daryl's drinking is a problem because he gets drunk and says things about me that leads me to believe that he doesn't love me. I can control my limit on beer, but alcohol kind of does bring the negative out of me. He needs to stop controlling me and respect me for the good woman that I am. I do feel like I'm old fashioned, but not controlling. I just like steering people the right direction that I feel like they should go. He wants me to sit at home and cook and clean and listen to all his orders, and that's not it. That's not what I'm doing. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Tanisha Leonard and Daryl Bartley. The two of you have been together for eight years, married for four and a half years, and you have three children together, correct? And you have a fourth child with, in, uh, from another relationship. What I'm understanding is you're waffling between saving the marriage or just telling him to kick rocks, and you can't decide which one to do. So why don't you tell me a little bit about your situation and why you're here today? Okay, well, I'm here today because Daryl cheats and he lies. He's constantly DMing females in their DM, and when I ask him about it, he has no explanation. It's just so constant. It's all the time, and he never gives me any type of excuse for it, and he constantly does it. I'm sick of it. Are you, you direct messaging women, and, and are you saying inappropriate things when you do? Um, Judge, um, I, I'm not really direct messaging to say. I may, um, you know, on social media, I follow a lot of um, entertainers uh -huh. that get, you know, nude entertainers. So, new entertainers? Yeah, nude entertainers. So nude? If, yes, oh, yes. Gotcha, so, gotcha, gotcha. So, you know, if, you know, uh, you know Atlanta is a... Uh, they call it a strip club capital. Right. So I, I go there often with my family and friends, you know, mm -hmm. the guys night out. So if she she may look good that yeah, night. Yeah. I might give her hard eyes. It's never anything. Hard eyes? You know, like the, it's an emoji. You just hit him oh, with the hard like eyes. Because look I like what she had gotcha, on gotcha. or I like what she did on your little video. So I'm just giving you, you know, some thumbs up. Do you see? <laughs> now, now, and I get that. And I get that. Do you see how that can be taken by your wife as something disrespectful to her? Yes and no. Yeah. Yes and no. Let me turn the situation around. Imagine she was going to a strip club with guys in it, and she's giving them the hard eyes and the thumbs up and all of that. Would you find that disrespectful to you? Uh, I probably would be offended. Yeah. So, do you see what her complaint is? Yes, ma'am. Okay, there you go. Ooh, that was easier than I thought. I almost know what to do. I was like, oh, wait, I thought I was going to have to work on Ms. Leonard. What else is wrong at your house? Okay, Daryl also, I believe he has a drinking habit. I'm not going to say problem because it's not... He can stop drinking sometimes if he wants to, but he drinks and he gets... Sometimes he'll drink so much he'll forget things that he says to me. Like, he'll say mean things to me about me and my family, and I'm sick of that as well. Like, why do you get drunk and then the next day you act like you don't remember? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mr. Bartley, you drink, right? I drink. Everybody has... A, I not have everybody, a drink. A lot of people have an occasion to cocktail. When you do drink, do you often get drunk? I work 10, 12 hours a day. Yeah. So when I come home, I want a house clean, I want a, a nice hot plate, and I want me a cold beer. Right. Now, I don't see anything wrong with that. It might be two or three beers, but I don't see anything wrong with that. On the weekend, I do sometimes experiment with liquor, and that's when I have a bad reaction. That's why I try to stay away from, from the, the liquor. liquor. So when you do get to the liquor, what kind of drunk are you? Are you a mean drunk, hacker drunk, careless drunk? I mean, my friends and family say Reckless. I'm a happy drunk. She tell me that I'm He's crazy drunk. What kind, of, what kind of intoxicated person He's is He's a it? negative drunk. When he was on his strip club binge with his homeboy, not coming home from work. I found him at a gas station, passed out drunk in his car. He was so drunk, when I opened the car door and slapped him about three times, he still didn't wake up. That's you slapped him about three times? He just slipped <laughs> you right on in there. Yes, I took his phone from him and went through his phone as well, and I saw that he was talking to females, trying to hook up with them as well. He's always doing this. Well, you drunk, passed out in the car. I was, women. and the reason I did, I was in my car, drunk in the gas station, because I couldn't make it home, and I didn't want to get a DUI. So I stayed right there. I knew she would come. She got GPS on the phone. She found me, and I ain't know where I was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you being real? I'm just being honest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
my goodness. You say you used to cheat on her before you got married, but you've been on the wagon. You haven't cheated on her since you've gotten married. Is that accurate? Yes, yeah, very accurate. Very okay. accurate. I mean, when I was young, That's new. I was young and free. I didn't, I didn't have any commitments to anyone. Mm -hmm. So I was just being young and free. Ms. And I don't Leonard, think it was do you, cheating. Ms. Leonard, do you beg to differ? Yes, I do, because, like I said, it's disrespectful to your wife to constantly be talking to females. I mean, all the time. A family member brought a female to my house, to my house and sat on my couch and drank with me. After she left, I checked his phone the next day and he was messaging that female in the DM. And when I asked him about it, because he deleted what he said, he deleted everything he said. When I asked him about it, he said, it's nothing like that. So what did you say? What did you say? It was say? a business venture. I had a business venture. <laughs> for I really did. You, you know, we have no, me, no, me, no. me, no. Honestly, no, you know, me and my family, we do, okay. we do little things like that. We, you know, sometimes we need a couple of them on the team. So you know, if we need a, 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 a exotic dancer for a party we got tonight, at least she'll be. Hey. You know, but it wasn't. You gotta like have that. her at the ready, right there. All right, so, yeah, ready. I, I, I got, I got you. But you deleted what you said. I, I wanna, I wanna it. turn now to, I think, the issue that's really getting under your skin. I mean, that's disrespectful and, and, and tacky and wrong and rude, and he knows that, and he's doing it as long as he can get away with it. But the, I think the thing that's really getting under your skin is that he's trying to turn you into Betty Crocker, a 1950s wife in 2017. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna ask you, what's he doing at home with respect to your duties, and why do you feel that he doesn't respect you? She works six days a week, but she goes in like at three and gets off at like nine. And then I feel like she's off in enough time to take a nap, wake up, and cook dinner. Since she's taken on a certain per percentage of the financial duties, don't you think you should take on a certain percentage of the household duties? So, Ms. Leonard, why don't you tell me why you think he's trying to turn you into a 1950s woman? Okay, he wants me to cook, clean, do all the laundry. I have no problems doing that, but I work full time. I work at 2 o'clock in the morning. I don't get off till 2 o'clock in the afternoon. That's when my kids get off the bus. So, when that happens... What do you do from 2 to 2? I work at the post office. So, oh, you know, okay. we're doing, like, getting the mail ready for the carriers and such. So, I'm So, you tired. work a 12-hour day? No. No. Not every, not stop, every stop. day. How often do you work a 12 hour okay, day? Okay, I work six days stop. a week and I work that 12 hours a day, maybe four or five. Does she work six days a week? She works six days a week, but she goes in like at three and gets off at like nine. And the only time she works from two to two is during holiday season. Mm -hmm. That's the only time. And then I feel like she's off in enough time to take a nap, wake up and cook dinner. I, I bought a crock pot. All she had to do was put it in the crock pot. When I get off, the kids get out, everything will be ready. He could take the meat out before I get there so it'll already be I'm ready. He doesn't what? do that. I'm at work. He doesn't help fold clothes. We have three children. You can understand, like, that is a big job for someone. He does not help me at all. She's not taking He doesn't children. babysit. He, no, that's what he calls it, babysitting. babysitting not taking How do you babysit parenting. your kids? That's what I'm trying to ask okay. him. How do you babysit them? Every time I want to go out, it's a problem. I have to find my own babysitter. I'm sick of it. She's not keeping it all the way on real, okay? Um, it was a time where my house was a, like a tornado came through it. I wasn't working at the time. Maybe like two weeks I wasn't working. So I took in and cleaned the whole house, washed all the clothes. It took like all of maybe two days. All of maybe two days, get the whole house right, spick and span. And you did this how many times? Once. Uh, what? <laughs> okay, uh, Your Honor, I did, I have done it. More than once. The last Twice. time I did it, I told her that I wasn't doing it again because she didn't appreciate it. it she would come in, just throw her stuff everywhere, mm -hmm. leave things out. Let me ask you this, because since she's taken on a certain per percentage of the financial duties, don't you think you should take on a certain percentage of the household duties? I do. Every Sunday, I get on the grill. I cook breakfast. I don't, I'm not a real, like, dinner cooker. I will cook breakfast, and every Sunday, I get on the grill. And then bring, it's like a neighborhood affair. That, the, y you know, mm. I just want to say this. I can't cook. If you're not taking on something entirely and just popping up with it on the occasion, it doesn't feel like help. Mm -mm. And if you want to be praised to the hilt for some help that you do give, you've got to remember to praise her to the hilt for her doing it on the regular, if you want to be praised for doing it on occasion. <laughs>
Now, I understand that you work harder outside of the home longer than she does, and as a function thereof, she should do most of the housework, but yet and still, she's helping you financially. You should need to help her with the household. She's saying that I should help in the house, but I don't ask her to come outside when I'm changing starters and changing tires and changing oils, cutting grass. I ain't asked for your help, so why you need my help on something that I feel like women, it should come natural. It doesn't come naturally, number one. Let me tell you that. It does not come naturally, number one. Mm -hmm. And number two, help in certain areas in the house, like she helps with the money. You, you, you can't have a 2000 attitude to the economics and a 1950 attitude towards the division of labor. Mm -hmm. Right? Don't make sense, right? I'm going to ask Mr. Bartley next. Ne well, what is your main complaint in the household and why you think Ms. Leonard wants to leave? I don't understand what you're so... I mean, he's goofy. I get that part. I understand. I understand that you find that you got to go find him when he's drunk, passed out in the car. I get that part, too. Uh, but he's got a steady job. I think he loves you. I don't think he's cheating on you. He's a little disrespectful with the means, but why are you so upset with him? Why do you think she wants to leave? Your Honor, I think she wants to leave because she, all her friends are single and they're doing single things and she don't want to be in a commitment, committed relationship with a guy like me. But Your Honor, look at me. Look at me. Would you want to leave somebody like me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just being real. I'm just being real, you know? I don't know. If somebody else must got her attention. I really, I really feel like it's social media. I really feel like it's social media that got her Ex distracted. Explain that to me. Okay. What's the social media do? Okay, doing? if we in the house and we sitting in the bed watching TV, she'll probably be on her phone, like, all day. Then you come over on the shoulder, she'll, what, what? You know what I'm saying? I, it's not anything, but, you know, I, I just feel like social media got her distracted. It's not, it's, I don't have her attention anymore. And you're a little concerned about the nature of the pictures that she posts, aren't you? That yes. they're a little too I mean, sexy? Can I, can I see you something up here? Uh, please, your please. Oh. No, what? No, no, stay there. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I got Joe here for a reason. <laughs> so tell me what I'm looking at, Mr. Bartley. You see all the angry faces? That's me. I do. That's me. She's saying all these crazy stuff about me and... I really need to stop... This is you. Mm -hmm. I really need to stop wasting time on situations that are going nowhere. Why do, what, why do you think that has something to do with you? Because about 30 minutes before, we were just talking, and then she didn't like something I did, and she posted oh. the internet. So you're talking subtext. Yeah, she, she, she's still yeah, um, texting me. People, dudes, kill me getting married just to look like a good guy, but really they ain't nothing. Mm -hmm. Please stop making permanent decisions off temporary feelings. Play your own blank heart. That's what that you said. Like That's what I said. Okay. That's how I feel, and I don't... I'm with it all. What? I don't understand what you're so... I mean, he's goofy. I get that part. I understand. <laughs> I understand that you find... that you gotta go find him when he's drunk, passed out in the car. I get that part, too. Uh, but he's got a steady job. I think he loves you. I don't think he's cheating on you. He's a little, uh, disrespectful with the means, but why are you so upset with him? Because it's been going on for so long. It, there's been times when he wasn't coming home at all. I had to put a GPS on his phone and find him, and I did, at a gas station. Packed up his children, put them in the car, waited till he walked out, and drove off. Because I'm just sick of it. He's not coming home, he just runs the streets all day with his friends. He'll be gone till 4 o'clock in the morning, moseying on in like, oh, it's okay. Where you been all day? What you been doing? Like, that's what I'm sick of. You like, don't think don't his family it. likes you. Why do you, why don't, why do you think they don't like you? Mainly because of the family member bringing the stripper into my home and then him, him saying that it was a business venture. You know, what kind of business venture is that? Really, what kind of, what is that? What is your family um, on? Saturday, Saturday for the fight, um, we're having a, 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 a fight party and we're gonna have some dancers there. She may be one of them, I don't know, you know, I'm just saying, that's, that's what we do. We, we do man things. That's what we do. Why did you ultimately kick him out of the house 30 days ago? What was the For last straw? For that reason. The reason that someone came and sat in my house on my couch and drank with me, and then he knows her. How do you know her? How oh, and he you... pretended that he didn't know I her? Didn't yes, know he didn't walk in and say hey or nothing. He just, he never even came in the house. He just stand out, he stood outside the friends. whole time. And then he finds her on social media. I had already... Like, she was a nothing. Like, a hood rat stripper. How did you find this hood rat stripper on social media and it's inbox easy. her? How? It's easy. 
it's easy. How? You know, the strip if you don't even know her, so if you don't even know her, how would how would you find her? Mr. Barter, let me ask you a question. You want to stay married? Yes, ma'am, I do. I, I love you. My love wife. your wife. I love my wife. Um, I just. Are you willing to be quiet long enough to allow me to give you some some pointers on how to keep her? No. Yes, ma'am. Well, let's do that. Mr. Bartley, I don't think you're a bad guy. I really don't. I think you love her. I think you're a little goofy. I think you're under the impression I work hard and I'm not actively cheating, so everything else is off the table. That's all I have to bring is money and, and, and no outside kids, and then I'm done. And so I can drink, I can go to the strip clubs, I can hard-eye people because my job as a man is finished. And what I'm telling you is, your job as, as a man is not finished until your wife feels respected, whole, cared for, and empowered. And she doesn't feel any of those things, and that's why you're not in the house. All of those things you do are not necessary to do, and it makes her feel like nothing when you do them. So you need to stop. You need to say, I am man enough to say, I won't do this, I won't do that, I won't do the other thing, because it hurts her. That's it, and that's all. You can't just say, I make the money, so everything's up off the table. I can do as I please. That's why she threw you out. She doesn't feel respected. She needs more than money. She can make her own money. She can get a guy that makes her enough money. But you gotta be a guy that loves, honors, and respects her, and that's not what she feels. Let me tell you something about social media. Everybody, you get together now, and everybody's got their life at home, they tolerate one another. Then they live on Facebook or they live in the strip club and then they come home and tolerate one another. Make a baby along the way, then they go back to the strip club. Come back, make another baby, argue, fuss, and then it, you have to make a life together. What do you do together as a family? What do you do to, to, to progress the union? You got to get off of the social media and take care of the home front like it's important. And you have to be there to take care of it with her. You have to construct a life that involves engaging her in something other than arguments. You can't hand her money and say, hands off. I gotta be a father. I gotta be a husband. I gotta be the kind of man. Do you have a daughter? Yes, ma'am. I wanna be the kind of man that I want my daughter to bring home one day. Would you like your daughter to bring some guy home that's drunk on the weekends, in the car, can't be found, in the strip club, and DMing women? Would you like that? No, ma'am, I probably Would hurt her heart, wouldn't it? Probably kill him. You are teaching her to take that by doing that to her. That's why you're not in there. Manhood is not from the belt down, it's from the heart up. Remember that, this matter is adjourned. Okay, Judge Lynn gave Daryl a lot of suggestions. I hope that he takes her advice. Do I think he will? Probably not. I think the strip clubs is causing a lot of problems with my marriage. You know what? I'm just gonna stop going. I'm not gonna go, but with her. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take her with me next time I go. See if she feel the same way that I feel about it. He just doesn't listen to anybody or anything but himself. And that's the wrong person to listen to.